Hey y'all, this is Victor Haskins, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about choosing equipment, choosing the right tool for the job. So in a previous video, I talked about the different mouthpieces I use and how I've come to use the equipment that I currently use on a regular basis. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about when I choose to use the cornet versus when I choose to use the trumpet, okay? And it's very specific situations for those decisions. Let's get right into it. The cornet, if you've seen in, uh, in most of my videos or follow my work, you know that you mostly see me playing this. This is a custom cornet made by Eclipse Trumpets, um, and they made this just for me. I absolutely love playing this horn. I love the sound of it. love the way it feels to play. And um, I use this mostly when I'm spontaneously composing or improvising, playing in small group situations, and playing um, classical solos, uh, like in churches. Now, the reason for it is because this is the sound that I hear, the timbre that I hear. The cornet has a darker sound, uh, generally, than a trumpet. And um, it allows me the flexibility to have this kind of general dark sound, but I can make it more aggressive or brighter if I need to. And I can also make it even more mellow um, and smooth if I want to, and everything in between. It gives me a lot of timbral flexibility and freedom, which is really attractive for the different kinds of playing that I do when I improvise in these different kinds of contexts. Um, so that's my main tool of choice. Now there are other situations where the trumpet is a far superior choice for what I need to accomplish. So if I'm playing in uh, an ensemble with other trumpet players who are playing a trumpet like a, in a big band or in a wind ensemble or in an orchestra, then I will use a trumpet because you want to be able to blend with other people in your section when you're in a band of that nature. Blend is an important part of playing an ensemble versus in a small group, I'm the only person playing a trumpet like instrument, so playing the cornet makes more sense because it's more personalized sound. Okay, so I'll play the trumpet in a section situation. Um, also playing in like a, a top 40 band or like a corporate band or an R&B band or something like that. Something where I need to really play um, that in a way that cuts through the ensemble. This is the correct tool for the job because it has the higher overtones and it allows me to project more without having to work as hard as I might in order to get the same kind of projection on the cornet. I'm not really worried about projecting when I play with a small ensemble or play in a solo setting. I am worried about projecting when I'm playing with other heavily amplified instruments and I'm playing, you know, horn lines that may or may not be intricate um, in, like I said, a very loud setting. Uh, also, I do play a lot of classical solos on the cornet when uh, it makes sense to, but depending on the tessitura, the range uh, present in the piece, uh, I'm thinking about like um, trumpet voluntary, which is generally uh, its original key is quite high tessitura. I wouldn't use the cornet for that. That wouldn't be fun to play. Uh, and also the trumpet's gonna give you the right sound for some of those kinds of pieces. Um, in addition to specifically when I play with an organ, if there's an organ at a church and I'm gonna be playing with an organist, I will make sure I bring my trumpet because I've learned the hard way that the cornet I love this dark timbre. That dark timbre gets lost in the sauce. It gets swallowed up by the high compression that the organ has um, and all the different overtones the organ ha has present in sound. And so the trumpet with its higher overtones and its ability to project more easily, that's the best tool for that job. It's gonna make me have a lot more fun playing with the organ and being able to be heard and be able to balance with that instrument. So that's, really the main situations that I play in as a professional. Um, so like I said, I'll mostly be playing the cornet because this, um, this is my voice right here for sure. But that trumpet is super valuable to have for those other situations and occasions when I do need to have that tool for those jobs. So I hope that was informative for you guys. I hope that gives you some ideas about how you might um, use or purchase or acquire equipment to accomplish the goals that you have for your own artistic needs and career. And uh, thank you for listening, and I hope you guys will join me in the next video. Thank you.